the world witnessed a grand pran pratishtha ceremony at ayodhya yesterday 22nd january 2024 with thousands of devotees flocking to the city to catch that one glimpse of ram lala the city of ayodhya has become one of the top religious and cultural destinations in the world with over dollar 10 billion invested in the city's infrastructure project including new airport revamped railway station township improved road connectivity etc ayodhya is set to welcome 50 million plus tourists every year this data has been reported by jeffries in its paper india strategy ayodhya unlocking india's tourism potential religious or cultural tourism has anyways formed a large part of india's tourism industry due to the popular religious centers which attracts millions of tourists Now with the infrastructural boost given to the Ayodhya city the Indian tourism is expected to grow at 8% compound annual growth rate to US dollar 443 billion by financial year 33 In fact the city is expected to see a jump in pilgrims to around 100 to 150k per day Coming to the infrastructural boom and the tourism potential unlocked we have this beautiful Ayodhya airport that is handling 1 million passengers currently The international terminal is expected to be operational by 2025 and thus phase 2 will handle 6 million passengers airlines including indigo air india spicejet and akasa air will be operating direct flights to ayodhya connecting multiple cities the airport's construction has given a big boost to tourism business and employment sector next comes the magnificent ayodhya railway station which has increased the number of passengers from 30000 to 60000 just in phase 1 A 1200-acre greenfield township has opened the potential interest of senior citizens and families who wish to make the city a second home owing to its religious ethos. Now to meet this much rising demand, Ayodhya has geared up for a boom in hotel construction. At present it has 17 hotels with 590 rooms. Additionally, 73 hotels are in pipeline out of which 40 are already under construction. Some major hotel chains including Marriott International, Wyndham, Oyo Rooms and IHCL Tourism has lately been a large foreign exchange earner for India with US dollar 17 billion foreign exchange earnings in 2022. In fact, India's share in global tourism was 0.6% in 2012, which rose to 1.5% in 2021. It means during this 10 years, the growth has been manifold and the trajectory is set to accelerate furthermore in the coming decade. All this progressive results comes amidst the time when the central government laid special focus on the tourism sector by allocating about rupees 2400 crore in its union budget 2023-24. 100% FDI allowance has also been made to tourism as an attractive sector. Tourism centric schemes like Swadesh Darshan, Prasad and Adarsh Smarak have also laid special focus on tourism. Now all these facts on which Ayodhya's projections are based are not far from reality. I say this considering the big infrastructure boom that the city of Varanasi witnessed after the construction of Bhavya Kashi Vishwanath corridor. The official statistics have shown that the influx of tourists in Kashi was 68 lakh in 2019, which rose to an impressive 7.2 crores in 2022. In fact, after the inauguration of this corridor in December 2021, about 10 crore devotees visited Kashi. An estimate by industry experts pegs the number of tourists visiting Kashi at 20 to 30 lakh every month. Apart from this, Assam's Kamakhya Devi Corridor, Ujjain's Mahakal Lok Corridor, and the soon to be established Jagannath Heritage Corridor are some other examples of how a city could become a tourism-centric economy hub. Religious, spiritual and cultural aspects definitely form a big chunk in attracting tourism, but the infrastructural boom adds on to the circle.